and welcome to vlog number 30. These are flying past now. Yes, I am at my desk again, I have my cup of tea ready and I always start with what you missed last week. So last week was, I thought it was going quite well, until it went very, very wrong. So we'll start with the first cake. I had three weddings on. I don't know how, it keeps happening, it needs to stop. But I had this three tier top coloured wedding cake with little teddy bears on top. And if you think this looks familiar, that's because it is. I filmed a two tier version as a craftsy class. It is now no longer known as craftsy, it is now called blueprint. But the class is still there and it shows you how to make four different cakes. It shows you how to take something cute like that teddy bear cake and then add an alternative twist to it and that one became a steampunk teddy bear cake and we also do the same with the big wedding cake i will leave it linked below if you're interested so this went really well i had this finished way early i was really on time with this cake and then that one got delivered to york on friday so york is roughly an hour and a half ish away and we went to a place called the Principal Hotel. I have been there before. Huge, huge building. We set that up and that was no problem at all. And then I had to come back on the Friday after that delivery. The traffic was pretty bad because I think Leeds Festival was on. The races was on. So it took us quite a while to get back home. And I had two more wedding cakes to finish. So next up was this really cute Japanese anime style mashup cake. The couple put together a Pinterest board of buildings and characters and this is the design I came up with. This also went absolutely fine, I got it finished and we delivered that also to York. So that was another hour and a half drive. But this is to a place I'd never been before called Hornington Manor and wow, the views were amazing. There were animals everywhere. It was a working farm, a gorgeous big building that you, you could actually hire the whole place for your wedding. And that's exactly what they did. So they were getting ready in the rooms upstairs. There were people lounging in rooms off of like the ceremony and where the tables were. And then outside the back was gorgeous. That is how I would love my house to be. <laughs> Just this open couple of trees, loads of grass and no neighbors. Um, I walked in with the cake to set it up and the first thing I spotted was the up house. That caught my eye straight away. And then as I turned around, I spotted their um, table names. What are, the, what are they called when it's like a list of where everybody's sitting? I always forget the proper name for it. But then I spotted that. That was really cool. The florist was setting the flowers up. It looked really, really nice. And, and because you hired the whole place, there wasn't really any staff around. The first person I met there was the bride's mum. So it's not often I actually get to see any of the wedding party because they're off getting ready, but the mother of the bride caught me and she took me for a tour of the entire house. So I got to see where they were getting married, where they were eating. I met some of the family and then she took me upstairs to meet the bride who was getting ready. Now that is a first for me. I don't think I have ever done that in the amount of years I've been doing this as a job. And in the bedroom where the bridesmaids and the bride was getting ready, it was a little cage with a heat lamp in it. And look who it was. I mean, how adorable. This is little Sparks, their toy toys. He was only eight months old and they brought him to the wedding and how cute is it? I also have to credit the photographer some fabulous images and I will leave her links below. And whilst I'm on the subject of this particular cake, I was just in the kitchen ganashing, there was a knock at the door. So my mum went to the door and took delivery of these. A gorgeous little arrangement of flowers, some pink roses in there. Don't even ask me what type of flowers these are. I'm not a flower person. <laughs> I do know that this is lavender though. And I think eucalyptus leaves. It smells gorgeous. It came with a cute little card as well. So these have literally just arrived today. So thank you so much to the Mr. and Mrs. Gray. Cannot tell you how long it's been since I've actually had real flowers. I'm betting it's been several years because everybody knows I kill them. <laughs> So I'm going to try my hardest to look after these ones. It did came, did come with like little packets of food. So I'm going to read the instructions and hopefully I can keep these alive a little longer. But yeah, the smell coming off these is gorgeous. So we came back from there and I had the last wedding cake to finish. It was a two tier with glittery double barrel bottom tier and pink ombre top tier. Everything was going fine. I got my tub of glitter out that I'd ordered in advance. I started putting the glitter on and used, used one whole tub. 
and I knew I had a tub and a half left in the cupboard because I've previously made, already made a glittery cake and I knew I had a tub and a half left hence why I ordered another tub to make sure I had enough however that tub and a half went missing we emptied the entire contents of the cake cupboard every drawer every sprinkle basket we could not find that glitter anywhere and it's not just your regular glitter this is called ck glitter squares when these bad boys go out of stock it's like rocking horse poo you cannot get it anywhere and seeing as one half of the cake was already filled in them I needed another tub for the other half. I can't, I don't even know what time it was. It was probably about five or six o'clock at night by this point. All the cake shops had shut. Nobody does it like Hobbycraft or anything because they're a little bit, a little bit specialist. So I hit Facebook, asked all the cake makers, does anybody have any of these? And there was one person that I knew probably would have them. Her name is Mish Pattinson from VS Cakes. You will know her if you have ever read a magazine about a cake shed. She's the one with the cake shed. And in that cake shed is pretty much every cake product you can ever imagine. From the bottom to the top, every cake product going. <laughs> I knew she would have some. So it turned out she did have some, but she was at the races where we had just come from in York. So she pulled on her contacts who live around her because she's over in Bradford, Leeds area in Yorkshire, good like hour away from me, and tracked down Dominique. And she's from Poppy Pickering Cakes, which you've probably heard of because she makes some gorgeous contemporary wedding cakes with luster and glitters and lots of sugar flowers. So luckily, Dominique allowed us to buy three of her pots. I bought three just to be on the safe side. So by now it was a good seven o'clock at night. Adam was panicking more than I was. He was like, oh my God, I feel sick. <laughs> because we had to deliver this wedding cake the next day. I'm just stood there absolutely covered in glitter squares, just like. So he sets off on the hour journey over to Ilkley, picks up the glitter, comes home. He's now, I think just after nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I started dumping more glitter squares on it. They were in my hair. I'm still finding them. I'm not even joking. I'm still finding them. The top tier was already done. I'd watercolored that in pink. And it was just a case of putting the top tier on, putting the rose on, job done. So for that little minute, it could have been an absolute disaster had nobody around me had these glitter squares because there was no shops open. So I cannot thank Michelle and Dominique enough for sorting that out. And obviously Adam for driving two hours for some glitter. <laughs> so yeah, make sure that you have all your supplies. I thought they were in the cupboard. They've disappeared. I've been really good. I have ordered, I've got a cake coming up next week that's got gold leaf on it. I already have some gold leaf, but I thought just in case I'm going to order some more. I ordered the gold leaf and received silver. Ooh, so now I have got to sort that out and hopefully they can get the gl the gold one to me in time. <gasps> so yeah, that was touch and go for a little while, but we got it done. We got it delivered the next day because that was going to Clitheroe and that went to Shireburn Arms. Set that one up, job done, weekend finished. So it is now Thursday. This week I have two cakes. No need to slap him around in the face with the wet fish. I've only taken two on. And they're both cakes I've made before, so I'm pretty chill about it at the minute. One has sugar paste on. I am filming it for a tutorial. I'm only filming, um, it's a technique video rather than a full project. So the technique is how to do some old style bricks. I mean, it's probably up by the time this goes up, so you'll have already seen it if you haven't. Here it is. And the other cake is currently just been ganached. One of them is leaving tomorrow at one o'clock, the one with the sugar paste on, and the other one is needed for Sunday. So I'm just having a little break at my desk. Got a nice cup of tea. Whilst I was filming, the post arrived. I can show you these now because by the time this video goes up, he will already have them. So it is mine and Adam's anniversary on Monday. It will be our seventh anniversary. We've been married seven years, but we've been together. God, I'm so crap at remembering dates. 
15 years, 15 years. So it's our seventh wedding anniversary and I think that is copper. So these have literally just arrived now. I ordered this really cute enamel pin. As you know, we are collecting enamel pins for our board for either events, things we do, places we visit. And it's this cute Lion King um, in like a coppery colour and it says Hakuna Matata on it. Now you're probably wondering why me and Adam got married in a zoo. <laughs> I would like to say that as a joke, but it's not. We got married in a zoo. It was next to the lions and we had a Lion King wedding cake with Hakuna Matata because obviously it means no worries for the rest of your days. I also have it tattooed on my foot, which was done before the wedding. So yeah, that's um, a little nod to the wedding and it's also coppery coloured because it's seven years. And he has started reading again. He does it on and off. He'll read a couple of books and then life gets in the way and TV gets in the way. Lots and lots of TV. He watches lots of TV. So we went to the library and he picked up a couple of books. Now I don't read because I don't have the time to read. I don't have the time to fart, let alone read. But there's one thing I know from people who do like to read books and it is a sin to fold the edge of a page. How dare you disrespect books like that, folding the page. And he keeps trying to fold the page and I keep telling him off. It's a library book. So I bought him a bookmark. <laughs> this arrived, it is a wooden bookmark and it's been kind of um, either cut out and that it's got his initials on it um, and a little ropey thing. In fact, I'll leave, if you want to know where any of these are from, the pin badge is from Briar Rose Gifts on Instagram and Etsy. And I got this also, I think it was listed on eBay. They have a website as well. And in fact, what came with that, just in case it helps anybody at all, there is 20% off. And the code is thanks20, which can be used at this website. Um, and it seems like they do key rings and money boxes and all things like that. We don't really do much for anniversaries. I might take him out for dinner if I've got time. <laughs> I've had that if I've got time. I do have more wedding cakes next week. We'll just have to see how that goes. But yeah, that's what I've got him so far. I need to hide those before he gets home. Right, I have taught loads sat here. I will catch you in a bit. It's nearly half nine at night now and I have had company today. Somebody hasn't been in work today. Um, yesterday you had a flare up of gout, didn't you? And it was very sore. And this morning he couldn't even walk at all. So I said, if you can't walk, then you can't drive. So he's had a very, very rare day off work. The only days that you do have off are ones that you've booked on holiday. But you've had a sick day today, haven't you? So he hasn't even been able to walk at all. So he's had to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> you literally crawled out of the bed bedroom this morning, didn't you? And had to like bump yourself down the stairs. So you've been sat in my corner, this is where I usually sit, all day watching the telly. I have had the labyrinth worm cake to finish. I don't actually think I filmed any of that to show you, so I'll have to put a picture in. That was very close. I finished it and she come and collected it, what, we're about five, ten minutes after I'd boxed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, we had to get Adam's tablets today because usually when you have gout, you can have something called naproxen. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's about the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Um, you can usually have something called naproxen, which is a really, really strong ibuprofen. But we've since found out he's not allowed to have naproxen, so now we've got something new that we had to ring up at the doctor's today. So then I had to go down and get it from the doctors. The doctors. <laughs> so that's all we've done, and then I've worked on a pepper pig cake all day. That's pretty much finished. I'll show you that in a minute. My flannel is dry. Not moist. <laughs> so funny, we we have to hop to the toilet <laughs> again. We've had to put like a little wet flannel on his foot, so it's like it's at is his ankle. I can't speak. 
So it's his ankle that is sore um, and it's actually swollen up as well because the uh, first time he had it, it, sw it swelled up quite big and went red. So it's swollen again. So he's got a little wet flannel on it and you've been just trying to move your toes all day. <laughs> They were really <laughs> tight. <laughs> now I can wiggle my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never had gout. I think you have to. You can't. You can't just have an attack without actually having gout. So I think it's one in one in a hundred people. I think the internet does say it's very painful. I do believe you that it's very painful. If the internet says that even a blanket on your foot is unbearable. Yeah. Nothing can t You've got a flannel on it. Yeah, now I have. <laughs> I'm dosed up. So, yeah, the cake is finished. That is my two cakes finished now for the week. I think they're coming to get that tomorrow. So I'm sitting down with the brew. I've been playing nurse today, bringing you drinks and feeding him. <laughs> so the kitchen's a mess. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to sit down and watch some more Doctor Who. We're, we're slowly making our way through it. We're, we've got a new... Or I think we're getting a new, what do they call it? Companion. A new companion. Because we've just lost Rory and Amy. <laughs> yeah, I've never before. Because you reminded me of Alexi. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you the Peppa Pig cake before I forget. So all that needs finishing tomorrow is to stick the ribbon on and box it up. Um, it was good to actually have free rain on this one. They said as long as it's got pepper, George and a rainbow on it. <laughs> I was just sick of doing muddy puddles. Plus this customer has already had a pepper pig in muddy puddles before. So I thought I'd make it a bit different and try and cling on to the last bit of summer that we've got. <laughs> and make it nice and bright with fruit on it. It does have a little bit of shimmer on it as well. This one's the edible stuff. It's the Sugar Flare Powder Puff Glitter Dust. Just makes it shimmery for the girls. Well, this has been a little bit all over the place, hasn't it? Both kids are now back at school and Adam is back at work, so hopefully some sort of normality will return to these vlogs. You've missed nothing. He was off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. He went back Tuesday. Abby went to school back on Monday and Kai has gone back this morning. Obviously not without its dramas. Kai couldn't find any of his school pants this morning. Not one pair. So Adam had to drive to Asda this morning to get him some new pants and as he walked out the door, as he walked out the front door, I was still up in bed at this point. I, I was awake, I could hear everything going on. He was already stressed that he needed to go and get pants because he thought he was going to be late for work. And all I could hear was, I've got a flat tyre! <laughs> of course it is just something else to fix. Did I tell you the Xbox broke? The Xbox is broke. I don't think there's one vlog I have ever filmed where something hasn't broke. So this, it's just been a bit manic. I've only filmed three days, but I'm hoping that's it now. I'm hoping everything will get back to normal and I will be able to film regular, actually showing you what I'm making rather than this is what I've made. I did receive another parcel. It was a very cool parcel. It came from Mr. Baker. However, this vlog has just been all over the place. I don't feel it's right to stick it just on the end of this one. So I will show you in the next one. But just to give you a heads up, he has brought out a range of t-shirts that you can get from his website. He also has a YouTube channel, but I will tell you all about that in the next vlog. Right, I need to get this camera put down so I can edit so that the vlog can go up. I've got three cakes to make this week, waiting for the incoming slap. But I will see you, hopefully, in a better vlog next time.